Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last series of the day and we have the, the lag, the opportunity to see one of the favorites to win the tournament. I don't know if you agree because Ihira, Mr. Nova, is one of those, the chosen one probably, that he'd really want to be at least in the semi-final. And Hira versus Project Belgium, it's starting right now with what? Vietnam and France and uh, one, two, three, let's go, Mr. Nova. And uh, Hira as Vietnam, France, Project Belgium. I mean, I prefer France, but Vietnam in Hira's hands. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Mr. Nova? some of the civilization bonuses over here just the most important uh, Vietnamese are going to know the starting location of enemy TC's right away which can be very good because you can use your scouting time to either push huntables or go for right away in an attempt to lame or to get some information and they're also going to have a nice eco bonus in the form that not having to pay any wood for eco upgrades as well as extra HP on, on, on archer units hey we have a small engagement over here already okay well, because he w wanted to lane, but now Hira won't be able, because he's yeah, there. Won't be able. And then for Franks, finally, we are going to have a nice eco boost early on as they get faster working foragers. They are going to have cheaper castles as well. That's a very nice one that I have seen some people take advantage of um, to go for walls of castles forward. You know, kind of like a like a crush, like a like a castle rush. <laughs> Later on, go for a chain of castles. But it's not been the case too much, just one game that I noticed. I don't recall which series it was. And then also extra HP on stable units, 20% extra HP for free, which is going to be equivalent to bloodlines for night units or any units higher than, than 100 HP is going to be even better than bloodlines. What second are you are now? What second are you are? Oh, also, sorry, I am two minutes and 50. Uh, with me there, with me in three minutes, please. Yeah, okay. Let me know. Wait a minute, three minutes. I will be there very soon. I just have something activated that it's, I shouldn't have. And I'm gonna tell right. you, I am almost there. So, okay, okay. One, two, three, let's go. And uh, we keep continuing. I didn't want to, to stop you because you were explaining everything about the civilization and I just did it. And, well, we catch up already. Yeah. I mean, um, just not to forget about, sorry, sorry uh, one of the most important things as well is the free farm upgrades for Franks, which is going to be also. Uh, sort of eco bonus that they get for cheap, uh, they get for free, sorry, right away. So, yeah, that's going to compensate for free or for cheat? For free, for free, for, for free. free. Okay, okay. No, no, it, I mean, yeah. I, I thought that I was lit and I was okay, man. If they get for cheat, it's, it's, it's even better, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. cheaper for Vietnamese, it's free for, for Franks, correct. Okay. Oh, people, people want the money, you know? People want the, the bettings. I forgot the bettings. Don't worry, man. We go for the bettings. Even more with Hira that you want to, to make bettings bagoom quite fast. Honestly, I really think, and we can debate this uh, like almost in every game, every series, the civilizations is important, but it's a little bit more secondary now. It's more about the strategies because you, can, you have seen in the previous series in that last game how... Uh, it was about the decisions he took. I don't think it was about the civilization at all uh, between that kills and Chinese. So the decisions yep. is, is much, much important now than the civ itself. That is especially true as we are still in round two, which is going to have somewhat uneven uh, matchups in terms of seedings. But man, like even, even at the top tier, like at the top 10, I have seen so many matches going in favor of one or other civilizations between the same players. Tatut versus Barls. Barls could have won two games, man. Seriously. Tatut versus Barls. Tatut versus Barls could oh, have won yeah, two yeah, games yeah, yeah, yeah. with the decisions, but the decisions he took then, uh, it cost him the games and it wasn't about the civilizations. So, anyway, exactly. what is now what is now Belgium doing? He's walling on uh, on that side. I don't know if he's going to wall all the map. Uh, and what is... Okay, Barracking coming from Hira. He's going to go Milicias probably. Of course, you don't want to take the battle against when you are already... Be oh, nah. Hira's micro with the scout is just insane. Seriously yeah. insane. Well, still a little bit higher HP is going to be pushing the, the Zeras, but definitely took a little bit of unnecessary damage over there. And really interesting, the walls from Bagum as well. When you're up against a player like Hera, you're going to have a lot of respect for them. You don't really want to play very open against Hera for sure. But it's so tricky because if you want to go aggro as well, 
you might be safe at home by the uh, with the walls, but then if you go aggro, you run the risk of getting trapped inside Hera space. It's it's like it's it's so hard in every single regard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> so complicated, man. So really complicated. Well, at least now you can see how Mugumi is one in all, and um, yeah, man, it's the same time. Twenty population. 20 population going different strategies. One is going for men at arms. The other is going to go for the scout. Honestly, that's not shouldn't be terrible for for Belgium because those scouts for Frank with more HP uh, should be fine, my opinion. It's a problem. He just walked completely on the right side. The left is fully open, but he's still walling more. No, he's doing the barrack. He could wall be at the edge of the map uh, that would lane in the north, Belgium, but he didn't. And. Uh, and LSC, yeah, man. if he went for the the wall over there, I imagine he would want to go for the wall from the other side of the wall line towards the TC or somewhere because he's he's safe fish as he is right now with the quick walls. Well, for now he's safe, but uh, there you go, both yeah. almost the same time up. The Menatams are coming. Yes, Menatan upgrade, but Belgium, man, make this table. There you go, stable up with two villages. Yeah, Hera already has a, a few militias in, that could be very devastating, you you know, it's Hera. But Bowen should, should be safe for the time being, it's going to take some time before he overchops. W would you make, I mean, I, I like in these situations, make at least one spear, you know? You put one spear, it will help, you will take the, all the HP from from the stable. I don't know why Belgian, now he's walling like this, but what, okay, he's now sending villages to the house, but to make the house, but not two, okay. He's doing and 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 he's gonna miss that one. Ay, 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 well, ah, it's good, it's good, it's good spot for here and, uh, for Belgium. But the multitasking here is crucial. He got three villages. The speed, no, but the speed because they know the all the players at this level they know exactly what they have to do. Uh, but the speed is what you need. Hira, one of the fastest players in the world. Belgium is really fast too, but you know uh, the speed difference is is probably there, right? Absolutely, man. Right now, it's going to be about the same for both players. Like, even the the time that it takes for the villagers to go out is going to be about the same, so nobody's going to have any other time. But when we get uh, into a little bit more of a hectic stage of the game, when we get to the castle age or stuff, that's when you're going to notice one player starting to trade behind. Well, that spear took some damage. He's gonna make some but I said No, he's trying to wall. No, 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 don't, don't. Where, 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 where are you going with the scouts, man? I mean, why like this? Sticking a lot of damage. One scout down. That shouldn't happen. I mean, there was... Keep going to the south. He crossed the TC two times. So he lost the scout. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be complaining about it. I'm not really sure if it was a, a misclick or, or something. It was definitely not intentional. But it's still going to be quite real, man. The effect's going to be quite real. Four versus five scouts can be the difference between taking the spearman and having a good amount of scouts left or not having scouts at all. Well, uh, I'm, I'm surprised, man. I mean, Hira it's a, it's playing similar like Daniel did with Vietnam. Nothing. No archery range, no stable, just a spearman at arms trying to wall all the map. What the hell? Defensive, man. Super defensive while we see the archery range coming. Archie range with the... Yeah. And Archie is not a skirmishes. If he's going quick, uh, Hira has no milita military buildings. Nothing at all. But he's got good resources. He's going to try to push for the castle age. And it seems to me like he's probably feeling confident against Bagum in playing like this. Because I don't think he will be doing this against, let's say, MBL or, or Viper Yo. Well, this is how the, the, the losses happen when you uh, underestimate an opponent. Yeah. And uh, just look, man. Going with the Blastmith, zero military buildings. And we wanted to see action from Hira, but for now, nothing. He's going for the boom, man. It's going for the boom. Okay, it's his choice. Scout. No, 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 no. What, but don't, don't get that engaged, man. Uh, you're doing arches, you got fletching. Yeah. He should ignore that army. Hira is doing right now exactly what he wants, uh, Nova. And it's just get time. Yep. Scouts are in right now. They are going to be inside. No, they're not going to be inside. That was a Palisade Foundation that was almost half HP. And now Hero should be able to keep on walling this. Yeah, man. Archer range coming up. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Well, the walls, man. The walls. I expected more action. It's also true that Franks are solid. They are dangerous. Where's the arches? You need to go with the arches. Yet, Belgium didn't see a single military building, a single army from here. Akira only got the, the start. Uh oh. Those men at arms eating the TC. Belgium. Belgium. Belgium, Phil is in the TC, Belgium, Belgium, what I'm telling you about the speed, those men at times could be dead already and now they are inside, no reaction man, because he's focusing the north, in the front, sorry, and then now, well, small palisade, didn't do too much damage, but he's trying to, to keep going, and Hira just want to go castle age, that's it man. That's it. It's really good as well because it snowballs for Hera. Hera manages to get this, the men of in, so that's going to cause Belgium to go for the quick walls around the wood lane. That's going to cause him to not pay attention for, and that's going to allow Hera to go for the houses behind the palisades. And now he's completely safe, man, on his way to the castle each already. Well, he's completely safe, except if Belgium get inside. Because if he's getting inside, Hera won't have anything to defend now he's doing even a market come on man i mean oh, i expected something different from hira but hira is just going for 20 minute castleage now the resources for belgium are getting closer and closer to go up just look see okay it's gonna be going up very soon yeah that's going to be about a 50 percent difference Hero right now you know that the better you are, the better player you are, you're... Um, oh, it's inside! There's a hole! There's a hole! There's a hole! So the better you there are, the go. better you die! And the scouts are coming! Let's see if he's gonna be able to dominate! He's so greedy! So greedy, but he's super fast with those! He need to go to the arches, but now this is a bad... This is a bad move by Hira! He got no army, the scouts are inside, look at the archers! Okay! And he's on the way to castle it as well! And he's with Franks, the knights can happen! And, uh, well... Defensive man, super defensive gameplay. If Belgium play properly, he should have the advantage for sure. Because he also have stone to make his straton centers. And uh, well, let's see if he's going to micro. Oh, better say it, out micro Hira. That was a lot of reaction, man. Hera was not able to wall over there. The heal made it a little bit tricky. And now the scouts are going to be inside the wood line. He's there, and he's gonna try to go for the arches. Those arches got only fletching, but he's trying to block and block in. Yeah, man, he's, he's trying to block and block in. Look what he's doing here. Just with the villiers, not losing anything, but now who's getting time? Ooh, under the goal. Yeah, but I still think that this is okay for Belgium. Like, should be okay if he's still open, but I will go full knights. He's under the tower under the tower so he can't take gold Hira and look at the resources for Belgium in the bank they are really good they are really good resources although yeah because the archers are getting cleaned up right now I'm taking a look at Bogan's population right now the villager count is looking lower than Hera as it is now that's going to be three extra villagers did Bogan go for real Barrow or he got with Barrow he got with Barrow, so he has a good okay. economy. He just need to spam knights. He's doing chain and armor. He's gonna rewall, but honestly, he's doing a great job here. Siege Wars up. Oh my god, if he's doing that Siege Wars up, but if he's spotted, no, no, no. He's not gonna spot, he's going full aggressive. This is getting so interesting. But man, the lack, the lack is needed here, and he need the Siege Wars up. Up. If he's doing, look at the woodland, Mr. Nova, how exposed it is. And he's open. He just over chop. The knights are coming. The knights are coming and he just over chop Hira. If he's getting the knights inside, he doesn't have even a monastery. So Hira should be in big pro But go with the damn knights inside. Man, he's not going. He's not sending. And I want to cry when I see things like this. Go, man. He's not putting all the pressure. Very interesting guy. Yeah, he's got okay, okay. He's gonna try now. He needs to get some scout scouting information. Now he's going to know where the magnet. Let's see if he's going to to go in now. He's super open. The mangonel, the knights, the knights are coming. Now he's doing the house because he's nice. slow. But now the knights are going to do the job. And Hira in problems, in real problems, taking many, many villages here from Hira, the Canadian. Why? Because he's playing super passive. The crows are coming. Yes, he need to control those units. If he control the units, he got a huge advantage because look at that hill that he's getting there with the siege and the knights with the plus two. 
And that mangonel. Oh, but don't lose the mango. Don't lose the mango. When you leave the mangonel alone, he's shooting in the lumber camp. Shoot the crossbows. And shoot again. Well, I told you. But the knights are raiding. Still raiding. He lost the mangonel without doing a single good shot. But now he keep raiding all the villains from Hira. And Hira is 10 villains behind with a lot of idle time. Frank's economy also know that. That's really good for Bagwan as well. He goes in the right hand side, he goes out the left hand side. He can just roam around Hero's base and get away with it. And I love it, man. But it's a very interesting push as well for him because he's got the monastery and the siege workshop. And monks are not going to be the best for Franks, but he's not going for monks. So I'm not... okay, he's going for the first monk right now, but it took so long. What do you think the, the plan is over here? Long term siege and monks? For who? For, for Belgium? Yeah, I don't think so. No, no, Belgium is, Belgium is adding the, the monks just to heal the knights in case, and in case that the other is converted, not because he wants to, yeah. to go out with them, it's more like a shield. And now he has the mangonel, he got a lot of knights, and there's another thing that is really good, 12 villains more and three, three tone sentences. Man, Belgium, it's right now nervous, super nervous. I can, I can feel it, because with this situation, he got everything to dominate. Everything to dominate. Mangonel and the knights. The knights are coming, but don't go first. Just send the mangle in front. The villier, get the villier there to repair if he's needed. Yeah, there's a second mangonel. It's a really important advantage. Hira is one of the best. Oh my god! The mangonel shot he did! Ba -ba boom Half of those crossbows bye bye, Mr. Nova. That that Belgium was didn't because right now until this point it seemed to be like Bagan was respecting Hera to the point that he was not going to take a single engagement and he, until he was 100% confident but now he should yeah he need to be careful look at those monks open formation now Botkin he's without the Botkin going with the knight is gonna take more man he's 20 villains more 14 are idle and now Hera is in trouble in big trouble three mangonels three mangonels over there with the knights if he's going and Push is bye bye. Here, yeah, the Magnus are going to have a heal advantage against the TC as well. He's going to be careful because the Siege Workshop from Hera as well, which, even though he's not producing too much, okay, he's going for the one Magnus right now. Bagon shouldn't assume anything. My question is send the pillar, man. He's doing houses all over. Ooh, 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 man, okay. Okay, well, it's too many, and the Krobos are going to the hell. He lost two Mangonels, but why the knights are healing a house? Can you explain me? Because I really don't know. The knights killing a house. Okay, that, I mean, it, it is okay. Go forward, man. Oh, man, I want to cry, really. I'm kind of wondering about the house building pattern for Bagam as well, because he's moving to the left-hand side. Maybe he's going to think of uh, going for some sort of push over there. Right now, I don't see any resources, but maybe in the future. Nova. Bogun only need to send the knights and kill all the crossbows. Why he's not attacking? He, he He's letting him survive. He got 23 bullets more. He got more knights than the hero crossbows and he can see it. He just need to kill all and now he's going back. What the hell? Just pu pu push. I mean, kill it. Just kill everything. Got the knights. Even if he get converted, it's gonna kill all. Okay, let's see the Magonel. There you go. Magonel shot. And another one. Yeah. Open formation. Just kill it, man. Kill the knights. Kill everything. Kill the crossbow, sorry. Yeah. He just kill even with the conversions, Nova, he kill all. Yeah, man. All the army yeah. is gone from from uh, from Hira. Oh man, no way! He was going in against three monks and a lot of crosses, and then he went back because of another monk inside. He needs to go forward, man. But uh, uh, He's not attacking. Well, he's respecting Hira, man. He's, he's respecting, respecting Hira. Yeah. I mean, the economy, you can feel it that his economy is 1,600 gold. He's now doing a lot of farms. He's not attacking. He's respecting Hira. This is what happened when you, well, respect your opponent so much. He could be destroying Hira right now, and he's letting him reboom. The misstep over there. From Hera letting his wall open and letting Bagum in at the very beginning of the Castle Age. Well, 
he was playing safe because I feel he was feeling unconfident and Bagram is giving him the space to work with. He's maybe going to be able to come back like this. Heal advantage. Now the Mangonel is going to be bye-bye. And there you go. Bye-bye, Mangonel. He got all the knights. He's still not attacking. Letting Hira come back. Makes 70 bullies, 16 army. And now the knights. Okay, he's going to attack or not? Well, he's not attacking. Uh, he has a stone to make a castle on his face. Is he gonna make it? I don't know. And now he's gonna give Hira another two knights. Yes, because the monks are there. He's sending two knights. He's coming with the villains to make a castle in that hill. But why you are giving your opponent army? I don't know. He's gonna make so another mangonel. Yes, he is. He got two, two monks. He should be fine. And he's sending so many villains. The castle is gonna be good. The economy is definitely not, uh, not really, really balanced. But with so many knights, he should just go in and kill absolutely everything. Okay, another house. I don't know why another house. Wow. Well, let, let, let's see. He, let, 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 let's see. What what, 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 what? You just go, man. Just, I mean, he has the game a long time ago. Okay. okay He's now sending the knights. Let's see the oh, nice, the mango no, but he's gonna kill everything even if he convert. Focus in the monks, focus in the monks, the castle is going to be up. It's total domination and it could be total domination 10 minutes ago. He's killing now a lot, but the Krobos is doing some good micro. And even like that, he's not a, the, the best micro possible. He just killed all, man, with the knights. He got a lot more. The castle is up. Losing some monks. He lost three monks against the TC. He's not controlling the units, now mining the stone. And now raiding completely here. I still with 25 bullets more, a lot of idle, 1,000 score ahead. And if he don't win this game, I don't know what to say. This game should this be completely over not, right now. This is absolutely not the opener that I was expecting for the series. And Bahagam is certainly showing that he's more than capable from taking uh, taking a game from Hera. But going forward, Hera's not going to be playing as defensive, I feel. So Bahagam's going to have to change his playstyle as well, man. Well, the knights keep raiding. 70 villains and the six. A lot of idols. A lot of idols. And all the castle on his face. Man, Hira. Hira try hard, man. Hira don't even think to, to give up when he's over 1,000 score behind. Send the knight. De deny that castle. With all the knights. Yes, he's gonna kill a lot of villains. This is completely over right now. I mean, romantic castle. <laughs> GG call. There we go, well, man. Unbelievable first game. Unbelievable first game. And what we can say here is that Prince Belgium played really good in the start. In the early castle, in mid castle, he respect a lot his opponent. And then at the end, he went with all in. I don't know if you agree with that resume. And another thing important. Belgium lost in this game, zero villagers. Is Hera, how many did Hera lose? 46. 46 out of 105 units lost total. That is a very nice ratio. That is a very, a very nice ratio yep. for him. For Bagum, anyway. Crazy stuff. I mean, well, but all these give experience to the players. I honestly don't know why Hero was that defensive. Then, let's check in the statistics. Military, of course, 28 army. Belgium Hira did even more 30. The, uh, the economy for Belgium was much better, obviously. The important thing here is that Belgium... Even uh, going a scout and Hira going, uh, well, wall pretty much. 20 minutes and 21 minute castles. That that gap, the only one minute, it was okay. And Belgium could do the job. Then there was a point here that he didn't take the fight. But at the end, he took the game. And I thought he was going to, to, to come back, uh, Nova, because he, he stopped it attacking. Yeah, yeah, that's quite clear in the timeline as well. There's like a, like a dip. In red, where he had an advantage, and then Hera started slowly but surely coming back, only until Bago managed to get the castle lap, and he got enough confidence to to seal the deal. Yeah. Anyway, let's go, guys, for the game number two. Ready to rumble, because Hera versus Spread Belgium game number two is getting there, and we have now Khmer, Hera, and Mongols. One, two, three, let's go. Well... Let's see what Belgium is going to do in this matchup because he needs to do something really strong because Khmer is, in my opinion, clearly favorite here. Right. So for these civilizations, Hera, as Khmer, we already know, uh, 
many of the bonuses. I think the most important thing is going to be the farmers. The farmers that don't need the meals or TC to drop food on. And the faster elephants are could potentially work. I guess he could potentially add a few, especially if Bang went for a few archers or something like that. And then for Mongols, on the other hand, yeah, Bang with the faster working hunters. It's, it's not going to be able to take advantage of going up super fast against Khmer because Khmer can also be extremely aggressive with their uptime. So, it, like, the early advantage for for Mongols kind of gets denied against Khmer. And then only in the very late game they are going to be good. But then Khmer are going to be fantastic too. So, there's that. Well, honestly, what I think uh, um, Mr. Bowen should do here now that he's 1 0 ahead is to go scouts but with the spears, full aggro, all in, man. All in, because would you get the advantage given having the barrack? Probably Hira is not gonna make it. And uh, uh, let's see what Hira is planning. Anyway, this Khmer is like a snowball civilization. This can, well, if you let them uh, get some kind of good economy, can dominate. But I'm checking the map for Hira. He got a nice wood at the back. There is a, at the back. There's two goals on a similar spot on the right side. Not super difficult to wall, but it's still you need to wall or it's gonna be exposed because of that hill. Then the third goal on the left is behind the forest. His map is uh, decently okay, not great one, but not super terrible. But then the map for for red. What do you think about red map, Mr. Nova? Well, uh, he's going to have a mingle on the left hand side that he should be able to secure if he went for a few palaces between the wool lines and then potentially use the south wool line to wall towards the TC if he doesn't want to completely surround himself. And he's got some stone on the back, which can be very important for Mongols, of course, but. I think is the right hand side is going to be very very open so it's going to be hard to protect that one play aggressive have to play aggro yep. i mean the previous game it was yep. absolutely open as well and then playing aggressive with army uh, they know how to multitask and get some good macro you play defensive is when you die just we saw in the previous game they, they're supposed to be better player play the battle strategy and he lost yeah, man, and also very good point about going for the Spearman, that's going to make a big difference, and, well, Bagum, right now, we're having a very good Dark Cage, he already pushed uh, the Zebras as well. I think he pushed everything, right, even the Ostrich? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah he did. He I mean, Mongols is the way to go for the for the hunt, you know, but, uh, but, but he needs to get some advantage early game, because if they go for, for Middle Castle Age, Oof, I mean, what economy advantage got the the the, 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 the Mongols? I mean, nothing. nothing. You know? Well, Khmer, oof, this can be so deadly. But but still, if you get some advantage like in the previous game, oh, it can be... It, the civilization is secondary. I would love to see a small wall from from the right-hand side wood line for Hera's base, like the one that's next to the gold towards the edge of the map. I think they'll be securing the, the gold and the, and the stone that you were talking about over there everything I think he can potentially yeah he can, he can potentially go for walls towards a dc as well if he doesn't want to spend too much okay let's see what he will do but man oh boy this this belgium i don't like that second armor came in the same spot but he's on the way to village. 19 population without the loom man he's playing confident man no loom for bogum who is this bogum man <laughs> unbelievable man awesome Amazing. It's okay. Kind of, I, I'm certainly hoping that he's more confident than the previous game, and I think the win is certainly going to give him a boost. But yeah, he needs to be aggressive, and he doesn't. He must not give Hera any respect, and not because Hera doesn't deserve it, but because it's going. Giving your opponent too much respect can hinder your gameplay. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's not that. Uh... You know, that risk going against Khmer without the loom because Khmer never go malicious, you know? Like, uh, mm -hmm. Khmer is not going to malicious, he's going to go scout, so seems he's going to be super quick up. 8 minutes 27 seconds. Yeah, man, I like that. And then he's going to make this table there. Doing some small walls probably soon. And let's see, man, the games, the seas are getting so interesting, man. Really, really interesting. There we go, the fuel age is here for Bagum, going for Loom right now, of course, and there you go, that's exactly what you were suggesting, some spearmen coming in, so we have some Memstradamus here that I hope to see in chat, and the stable coming up as well for further scouts as well. I mean, it's it makes sense now, because the other guy is not gonna happen, if he's going aggro, oh, 
He wants to deny deny that he's building there. Look, 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 look. He put this table there trying to deny that he's building the this table as, as forward as possible. Okay. And he forced him to make a little bit more defensive, you see? Nice. That was good. That's going to be alright for the time being. He still has enough space for the farms. And I mean, it, the farm placement is not going to be important with Khmer, so it's, it's alright, I think. Ouch, well, but he went to the right side. Okay, well, oh, then. It's his open. wall. His wall. Uh, uh, here is wall completely. Oh, the wool line? Yeah, but he's got the foragers exposed, for instance, in the, the lumberjacks, if he can go in with the scouts. Oh. Yeah, that, that in the north, yes, but uh, the four years is he, can, he has a house close. And uh, let's see, Belgium. He's not going to that lumber camp. He got the scouts already there. But if he's going with the scouts and the spears can create a mess. And what you want to make is a, is a little bit mess on his economy. You know? He's doing a house. Just see the house that he's doing now. Just to, to, to garrison those villages. So he should go now, but he's not going. He got one spear from the left. One spear on the right, and he's going to the berries. Let's go. He's gonna try to, not gonna be able to. The spearman is going to be good against the scouts, but the scouts are not going to do anything to the villagers when they get garrison. And yeah, he's, he went for the house over there on the wool line as well. So very, very hard spot right now for Bagum. He cannot do any damage as long as Hera is paying attention because of the houses. Well, he's, he's doing some damage in the scout. One is very low HP right now. If he focuses, he's coming with another spear. He's really micro. And if he's micro in probably he got four scout. One is really low HP. The spear is coming, and that can be a good engagement. It's not. Good amount of farms. He has to be careful here. Here, The spear is going to be there to make the difference. Yeah, you know, if you can take the scouts down, you can still uh, go around this with your own scouts, and then that's going to idle a lot of Hera's economy. So he can kill like... a few scouts more also, but he didn't not yeah. use uh, Nola. You see? I mean, just take the got bottle, one. micro. Uh, uh, look, 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 look. It's there, man. It's there, got it. Two He's more. Two more. Whoa! He took three scouts and now going away with the another. Uh, at the end, it oh, will man. be similar. Nah, at the end, he disaster. I mean, he shouldn't take this one. He, he took the first one with two, and then he lost three scouts in a row, which is shouldn't happen ever. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the decision making over there. Now he's got two scouts in front of Hera's base, but Hera's going to be higher in, in, in military count. Four versus only three and zero spearmen for Bagum at this point. Okay, maybe he's trying now to, to focus more on the economy. Hira is already ahead with the village, but he's gonna go aggressive. He's going aggressive, he's doing the archery range, now he has one spear at home. He's going with the scout, he still have army, uh, Nova, five army both, and now also adding the archery range, while Hira is not. I feel that Hira is gonna go bloodlines. If he's not we'll doing see, archery man. range fast, he's gonna go bloodlines and full scouts. That's so risky, man. Let's see, he could have taken the engagement over there. He had the hail a little bit earlier, Hera, but just decided to walk away. And Bagum brought this, uh, the, the fourth scout as well, so he definitely pushes Hera away. What is he Double archery range. Double archery range. Uh, I was suspecting one archery range and blast, but double is kinda a lot. I don't know. Villier down. Uh oh. He's gonna lose that Villier. Yeah. Villier down. Yeah, it's sloppy. A little bit sloppy, slow there. They're Belgium. Now the scout is in the middle of the map. It is about the multitasking. He's housed it a lot. He's getting housed it a lot. He's gonna lose another villager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not. Okay. Just to be careful. He's gonna deny that one. The spear is coming. And the spear is helping a lot now. Yes. It's helping a lot. And like I told you, he's even doing the upgrade. He's kill bard in armor. Full with the scout. Okay. There we go. So that's going to be at this point in time six for Hera. That's going to be only five for Bagum. With the upgrades, well, I mean, he's got plus one, plus one. Hera, Bagum doesn't have it, so Hera is going to be able to push him away. He's going to be playing defensive man, and Bagum is not in the position we were saying we, we wanted to see him here. Well, he Hera is. Play aggressive, but it didn't work. Yeah, I told you, man. He was going to go full scouts. Bloodline, skill yeah. and armor, double stable. Well, uh, now you need to make some some more spears, and uh, well, if you make some walls, I like the walls he's doing, but you need some army because those bloodlines plus one scouts are going to dominate Abego. 
Yeah, the spear and I'm not going to be enough anymore. Not against Bloodlands and Scale Bard and Armor. Okay, well, but we he, go. he got archers with fletching and a few scouts as well. But why he's not sending the army there? You need to defend. Now he's gonna wall the goal. There's uh, a hole in the wood lane. No. He's trying to wall inside, but he's going forward, man. He's going forward. There's respect. Belgium. I like this. I mean, he's going to the goal. He's going with the scout and the archers, and this can be deadly for Hira if he's getting there. Now be careful with those. He need to wall. No, 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 no. Ay, ay, ay. He's gonna lose a billion. Yes, but now, but now he's coming in. Nova, and he's going to the goal, but he got the house. I, 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 that's the problem, man. The houses for Khmer, they are so strong. He's going to be able to carry some five out of six villages, and then there's another house over there for the extra villa and a few farmers, even. It is, uh, that's the issue, man. He but can but idle economy. Yeah. yeah, he can idle economy, but, but he cannot take the villagers down. And he has been losing villages. If you take a look at the village account, he has already six villages ahead. If he idles a little bit, it's fine as long as he can get the villages back to work later. Well, well, but still, Hira has a lot of idols, and now, not taking gold, and that's good, the archers are there, the scouts, no, 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 you need to go back, the spears are coming, the micro is not, not 100%, but he's doing a good job, will borrow, but man, the problem with this civilization is that Hira, even with bloodlines, skill bar, armor, and everything, look at his economy, this, yeah. this chimera is just disgusting, man. He's not getting aggro on the farms at all, just the goal, so he's gonna be able to go. Oh my god, the goal for Bagoom, sorry, Nova! Look at the yeah, goal yeah, for yeah, Bagoom! Taking there everything with the scouts. Well, uh, game over. Uh, game over. That, 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 that's it, man. Bagoom, he tried to make it work, but it's so hard, and he was so good with Khmer. Now he's gonna be on his way to the Castle Age, and if the game's not over now, what is Bagoom going to do in the Castle Age when he is in a position to start spamming nice races? No, the game is GG right now. He's killing all. I mean, when I saw Mongols and Khmer, I was like, oh, you put the wall, you get the, uh, an advantage in the start, but uh, destruction, man. Completely destruction here. And take yeah. a look at Bagan's military uh, units in front as well. What military units? units? I don't see anything, yep. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> don't see anything, man. Oh my god, I'm becoming so predictable, so I need to change this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Need to change this. One, two, three stables. Forging, gold mining upgrade. Eh, it's, it's just completely over. I mean, yeah. He's not resigning because he feels like, oh, I have 600 gold. I can go up, maybe. But, uh, but, uh, but here is almost there. So, eh, it's impossible. See, did bug him over chop over here? He didn't, so he's going to be fine for the time being. But he's getting surrounded. That's a lot of scouts for Hera. Soon to be a lot of knights at some point too. Well, he still have some army, and he has no goal yet to go to go up to Castle. It's now he's going Castle. It's okay, but he's six villages behind. He has the wheelbarrow, so at the end he's three villages. He lost six, and um, well, he didn't lose a single village, man, in this one. Bottom's army right now is not going to be strong enough on its own, so he needs support from the TC. That is why he cannot really drift away too much from the TC. And Hera is going to be able to keep on roaming around with the scouts in the north. And he's just waiting, man. He's just waiting until he overchops. Well, um, I mean, people was telling the previous it was a civilization win. And is this a civilization win? Mongols and Khmer? Because then I want to see the fun boys, man. Ew. And uh, <laughs> it's not about the saves, it's about the decision, but this helps, in this one, Khmer helps a lot, man. Three stables, and uh, can spam uh, like crazy, with chain bar in armor, and dominate. It's going for it, with Barrow as well now. Uh, this was a lot better than last time around, he went wheelbarrow way too early. Was that was that the previous game or the previous series? I think it was the previous game. Previous game. Um, yeah. In the, <coughs> sorry, you need to wall with this in this matchup. If you are Mongols and you are against uh, this kind of strategy, you need to wall. There's a lot of idols. Uh, Belgian is still not resigning, but uh, but I don't know how he can hold this. And I'm I'm filling the hole and the at the end on the woodland. Oh well, he's paying attention actually. Oh man, is that open? No. It's yeah, well, he's in Castle is now. Botkin arrow, crossbows. I don't know. Man, the wood line, 
You will learn. I told you. I told you that it will be a hole. GG. Oh, that's insta GG right there, man. Instantly. Well, um, I don't like the Mongols, man. I mean, I think the Mongols is tricky. It's not like it's a bad civilization if you get in the, into the aggressive position. But in this kind of open aggression uh, strategy, uh, full aggro, how you can compete with that economy? I'm asking you. Uh, you can't. You can't. That's why you had to go full aggro. That's why you had to wall yourself as well, especially if you fall behind. Uh, it's the only way to, to catch up is to go for... If you fell behind earlier on, to go for extra TCs and have a stronger villager count because the farmers from Khmer are too strong and you don't have any bonuses in the middle game for Mongols, but then that also hurts your ability to produce military units. Also, anyway, I mean, let's say also that the, the strategy going all arch is when the other is going full, full scout. I mean, maybe Mongols will go also yeah, yeah. same approach, like a scout as well with the spears, not make transition. It's too many, too many resources to invest on double arch range, crossbows, you know, many. But well, anyway, um, we can check the achievements and move into the next game. Um, All right, military. Uh, will you check the achievements? I'm, I'm, I'm going 13 seconds to the bathroom as well. Okay, I'm checking. And uh, you can see the foot. You can see the wood. Look at the goal. More for Belgium. But uh, the transition was 23 to almost 24. One minute uh, and a half. And, and well, much more bellies. And definitely uh, this civilization is pretty sick. Okay, guys, we're going to go with game number three, Hero versus Project Belgium. And now the civilizations are going to be what? Ooh, beautiful ones. And you can see it here. One, two, three, let's go. Hero with Malians, Project Belgium with Berbers. This matchup is pretty interesting. And uh, I want to know who will be here the civilization with. For you, Nova, give your feedback. Uh, well, I... <laughs> It, 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 it's super tricky because Hera is going to have very strong camels with Farimba, then Bagman is going to have very cheap camels with Far uh, without Farimba, of course, but it's going to be much cheaper for him. And I think I'm, I think I'm probably going to be liking Malians a little bit more, if I had to be honest, unless Bagman's like going for, for something full aggression, where he's going to be able to outmass Hera. I think the versatility of Malians, um, I'm going to fancy a little bit more. I like it. I like them too. And... Um... I feel like um, there are more more possibilities also for for Malians and the Berbers kind of one well I don't know but again the decisions matters the good thing is that very cheap knights and camels the camel arches can be very very solid and sick but man if we check the map uh, we can see how the map now for Belgium with the Berbers are in front but easily to defend with those two woodland and one stone and one goal at the back. I like it, man. I like it. It's not really difficult to wall that that wood at the back. In front is much more complicated, but you can be safe there, Mr. Nova. I think so too. The woodland that he's got to the north of his TC, he can potentially go for walls from here towards the TC so that he doesn't surround himself completely, especially because the left-hand side is completely open. The fact that he's got the main goal on the right-hand side is going to be enough for him. And that's good, man. Especially if you compare it to Hera's map. Like, Hera's got... Uh, the mingle on the left hand side, he could potentially secure it as well. But uh, he's got the berries on the right, on the hill. I'm really sure. I actually think Hera's map is quite compelling too. It's not as bad as I originally thought when looking at the minimap. Well, uh, I'm not sure about uh, about Hera's map. It's much, much bigger uh, at the back on the left. But well, with some walls. Eh. Like you say, it is okay. I mean, and the, and the players usually are, no matter what, with houses, small players that they will make some world. And let's see that engagement. That the scout is almost bye bye. 10 HP, 13 HP, and Belgium now need to go back. I believe that they will go scout both. Yeah, scout it seems. Yeah. Oh no no no. Yeah yeah, I think that's true. No, Belgium with four villages on wood. Oh wait a moment. Well. <clears throat> I guess they do get to save some resources because it's the 15% cheaper wood cost for for buildings. Do you think it's probably going to go in the end? Manathar Archer, something like that. Probably add a few spearmen in the mix. Can do too. Can do as well. That's a good thing. You can put only three villages on wood and still make uh, going for the for the Manathar's approach. And then 
Um, Belgium is starting to think in what his opponent is going to do. That can be good, but I like that uh, when you have a civilization, you go for the strength of that civilization. And I think it's better to go for, I don't know, for, for a scout if you are if you are Berbers. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely, just going to smooth the transition to to knights or, or maybe even camels. Hira, uh oh, oh. scout lost by Hira. Scout lost by Hira. That's uh, that's good. That's solid. And now he can choose better what he wants to do. And that's really nice, man. Fantastic. That's man. really nice. Hira's gonna be playing blindfolded right now. Exactly. Oh, unless Bagon loses his two. Oh! Almost. <sighs> Playing with fire over there a little bit. Well, it's, it's complicated. I mean, <clears throat> Malians get uh, one pierce, pierce armor for free. Remember with uh, with the Drash. But since the other player is not going to go Arches, it's, it's not really worthy. We see now doing the Barak already. Oh. What, the, what is Belgium going to do? He's doing the barrack already. He's going for militias, man. He's gonna go many times with Berbers. I don't like that. Well, I guess we are going to find out. No, no, he's going uh, for sure. I mean, he's on wall already, mining camp, and he's gonna wall completely yeah. on the right side. Oh, obviously. Yeah, a moment ago, I, I, I made a mistake. I, I mixed the civilizations up. But indeed, well. Hera with the Malians. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not really sure why I confused the uh, civilizations over there. Maybe a score switch. But yeah, it is going to be Minotaurus, as you're saying. And yeah. he's not queuing right now, but he's going to be queuing. There we go. As soon as he gets the fruit, he's going to be going for three at the very least, obviously. And what is Hera on the other hand doing? He's going for this uh, barracks himself. Hera is going to scout. So uh, yeah. Malians is going to go scout, and Burb is going is to go m m malicious. What I like it is that. It seems that uh, it's going to be wall, like uh, it's, it's wally, man. Purple June is wally. There, there's some advantage also. We forgot to mention that since the Burbage villages are faster, they are actually working faster as well. So, well, the resources are a little bit. You, you get a little bit better economy with Berbers. Yep, 10% faster moving villages as well. Um, well, the sable's coming up. You have a point, man. You have a point for sure. That's going to be fantastic for him. It's, it's almost like a half the effect of a wheelbarrow, like half a wheelbarrow over there. Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. Just the resource is not the same. Okay, he's coming and, and he's not expecting this. If he's going there, he's trying to wall. He's gonna go scout. The militias are coming behind the wood. And he really doesn't expect the mind games matters here and gonna be wall. I'm just gonna keep on Hira point of view fog of war because I want to see Hira reaction as soon as the militias are there. Militias probably are here because the the Sebras are moving. And where's the militias? Okay, there there you are. There you go. Let's get closer. Men at arms and hit a reaction. Fast, man. Fast. It's as fast as you and me together, Nova. <laughs> man, and, and it works. It works. It's going to be safe right now. That's going to be probably wasted resources for Bagum, especially if Hera gets enough scouts that he can clean this up too. But Hera is not thinking of cleaning up, man. He's got two scouts forward already. And let's see if Bagum's going to be able to react just as fast. Yeah, I mean, it was, was really great, and I, I love that people can appreciate in the stream that I was just in point of view from Hira. So we could notice that as soon as the Menotans appear, he wall it so damn quick. Yes, well now, well now, well now, well now in the other side, it's not happening the same. And this is what makes the difference in the pliers. After all the walls he did, all the huge China walls, he still have a scout inside. Two scouts can be deadly, man, and Bagam's getting idle time right now and just going to be so annoying from Hera, and he might even be able to get one or two villages here. With Hera Micro for sure. There we go. One down. And uh, the the scout is still with more than half HP. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll really take good. another Meanwhile. probably. Look, 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 look. He's gonna try to block. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. No, well, well, it's worth it. Almost got it, man. Almost got it. Bagum, on the other hand, just keep on targeting the same palisade. That's going to keep one villager from Hera repairing the most time. But take a look at Hera. Take a look at Hera. What? I thought Didn't he was took anything. To no, no, no. He couldn't. Oh. 
He's trying to be annoying, but he didn't. Now he didn't. Blast with double archery range. While Hira now has stable and double. No, archery range. And ooh, stop it in the TC. I don't need the TC. Oh my god. Well, he eat the tone center. He lost the scout. He lost one mana time. And one other mana time is one HP. So he basically lost everything. And now he's gonna micro? No. He couldn't kill another. Fletching. Double archery range. Military numbers. Belgian is still ahead. But look at the village number, guys. How is possible that in this minute, 14 is three villages behind when he has lost only one? Idle time, man. Four villages already. What? I mean, TC is well, idle, man. Idle TC, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not killing anything. This, this is re really worrisome for, for Bagum. He is going for one villager right now. I don't know if he didn't have the resources because after queuing this one, he went down to 10. Maybe he was waiting for the resources. His economy is certainly disrupted, disrupted by Hero's move. Yeah, well, um, he did double HE range and blast, but that's a lot of investment. Also, he made the fletching, so now uh, he has the average, but he's not. Well, he doesn't have the real economy to keep going producing values. And now, the problem is that he got the skirmishes, his opponent. The skirmishes with plus one, and those skirmishes will deal perfectly with the arches. Good thing, though, is that Belgium got a lot more army, and he's going now exactly from the other side. Well, Hira doesn't have army to, to hold both. Yeah, man, he's splitting. He's not going to be able to take a villager down, but that's going to be a lot of idle time for Hera, which is exactly what we need to see at the very least. At the very least. He's going to take a villager. Look at that micro for Hira. Yeah, and save the villager. And now, doing a small blast with. Yeah, he didn't finish the blast with, obviously, just a little bit. Try to don't lose any villager. The hill advantage, what are you doing? What are you doing with the archers? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the archers, Bogum! Well, he's trying to kill in the goal, in the goal he killed one villager, but then he lost the archers that in the other side. All the archers for nothing, multitasking man, multitasking yep. disaster. And Belgium now 5 kills, 13 loss. I mean the multitasking there was just disaster completely. That is it, man. The first game, it was quite clear. Um, Hero was trying to play. Hero was fun. He was fun trying to play very defensive. He was overconfident. Then Bogum showed him that he knows how to punish it. And then game number two and game number three, Hero is going to be taking advantage of his probably higher AP. And I'm very confident that's the case. And he's going to be able to pay attention to more places at once. And the early game, when you make it messy like that can put you in such a nice position and that is why Hera is already ahead despite going for wheelbarrow earlier he's already one villager ahead yeah and uh Hera's economy man he's about to go up castle age and he's not attacking he's just defending i mean defending at home don't go any aggression belgium is coming with the aggression belgium himself lost everything and then here is up to castle age as simple as that man Hira didn't move from his base, uh, Nova, and he's up to yeah. Castle Age. Bam! Just going for defenses are going to be enough for, for Hera. Anything that isn't just going for buildings and walls is going to be so good. Well, his economy, I mean, economy from uh, from Belgium is definitely not terrible because he never got attacked at home. He lost one villager only, but he's behind already. He's behind, he's not clicking up. The military numbers is almost the same, but he needs to click up now. And he's clicking up. There you go. And population is exactly the same. But now, ooh, he got a village forward Belgium. Look at that. He's gonna save it because those villages are super fast. Look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's good, man. I mean, fast speed, villagers. The only skirmishes we'll be able to catch up will be Lithuanians, which, by the way, I think here a pick, but he's not used yet. Yeah, it was the second pick for him. Oh, but where he stopped now? I mean, don't get it, man. Don't stop. I mean, the scout, it will catch up anyway, but still. Anyway, build it down. The idea was great. I mean, was trying to sneak a villager to make Iron if a stable, probably a Siege Wars up. Now he lost it. Triple stable. Triple, triple stable. Amazing when you have 50 food in the bank. Yeah, man, that's what I was wondering about. Just one minute ago, he was on one only, and I was like, is he really going to go for crossbows only? 
And now triple stable. And here on the other hand, here is going to be in the castle age faster. And he's got double stable, one archer range, one barracks, and he's going to go for the monastery. That's interesting. Do you prefer triple stable or double stable with monastery? Double stable with monastery for sure. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And right. and, do uh, and double TC extra also. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's also true, right? And double TC extra, double. Oh, I mean, man. where where that in between that is table and that. That's crazy, but that is table and that is stone. There's a hole, you know, where the, where the here it is building. That's not wall. That's that's open. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. open, you know. And uh, really hard. There we go with triple is stable. I mean, if you can afford, let, let's see, one, two. Okay, he can create in in uh, all three stables because he's cheaper than knights from uh, from Berbers. But now let's see knights and crossbows. Those crossbows with plus one. Skirmishers doing the average now. Camels with plus one, plus one, and bloodlines. So let's see if the battle is gonna be better for who. Oh, husbandry, I like it. Really like that upgrade. And siege wars up in front. Honestly, if you go three stables. And you are facing against Malians and a player like Hira. I like the decisions to go with the Siege World so forward, but I insist that three stable is useless because right now he's producing knights for one stable. Uh, Nova. For one. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, he needs to he needs to sort his economy. He's even gonna be queuing more villages than necessary right now, only one at a time he can produce anyway. And well, the crosses are going to be a good addition because at the very least he's going to be able to snipe some monks. But until he can support triple stable, stable, uh, triple stable knife production, I'm going to be like in hero's position over here. Of course, he's in a much better position. At least that he's doing a crazy, crazy battle now and, and can kill. Belgium got more army. He's seven bullets behind. The red to kill that is still uh, negative because, well, those engagements yeah. with the archers uh, in feudal age. But now is what is matters. The camels has. Better upgrades, plus one, plus one, and bloodlines. The Berber's Knights, only the plus one armor, and now the husbandry. Oh, I like this. I like the ram, honestly. I like the ram approach, because he has crossbows, Nova, and the Knights, so he won't be able to, to stop that ram for now, and he can kill the buildings. And this might be very important. It can be very good, man, but we have the first conversion coming in. That's not going to connect, and now he's getting pushed away, but the ram's going to stay there as the skirmishers cannot do anything about it. Exactly, and that's why I like the ram here. Monastery being down that quick can be nice, but the crossbows, man. Why you put the crossbows in front when the skirmishes are coming? Send the knights, amigo. Send the knights, another ram. Well, now two rams is kind of too much. I mean, few scorpion or even a mangonel now combined, it would be great. I mean, uh, let, let, let's see. He has the monks, but let's see if he's going to be able to take it. If he's killing the monks, but, but go with the knights. Attack those skirmishes with the knights. The skirmishes will, will, will just get destroyed and the archers can do the job against the camels. Come on. He's now converting one. That doesn't matter. You got the crossbows and you are killing the buildings. It's getting very interesting. The game, but Hira, 13 villages more and it's still good amount of farming. Well, he's taking the skirms completely and now we need to go and fight the camels. He's going to be able to do something. Man, I don't know. That Michael was kind of weird and in the end Hera ended up sacrificing the skirmishers in order to take the rounds down But now he's not going to have anything against the crossbows and we have more knights coming in for Bogum as well eh, He did three stable, but he almost don't have knights man I mean he need a lot more knights plus two knights two stable was an oath He doesn't have production the game is, is, is quite over in my opinion, you know I don't know, man. Look at that. He's producing from three stables right now, and he needed only enough to be a meat shield so that the crosses can do damage against the camels. He's pushing Hero back, man. Uh, he's producing for one stable. Two are idle. I don't know. He's pushing it back, but he got the camels. Those camels are plus two. Still 20 bullets idle. The good thing is that he got more army, but there's 17 military, and most of those are archers. Now he keep going. Okay. Well, let's see if he's gonna be able to do something. The score still say that Hira is really, really ahead. I might be wrong. Or the score might be wrong. Of course, Hira doesn't have a lot of army, and they gotta take another stable. Oh, that's good, man. No more stable for Hira? Well, he has another at the back. As a stable, he's going to be on only one barracks in archery range, so he's not going to be able to pull down against this, but the camels are going to try to surround. The camels are plus two. There's the knights. Look at the crossbows. Belgian is still doing some good damage. 
Let's see if he's gonna be able to kill. He need to micro those arches much better. The camels die against the, ca the the arches, that's for sure. But yeah, where's the knights now? He's not taking, that's why he's not taking the camels. He does not have botkin arrow, man. Yeah, he doesn't have botkin, only fletching. Don't have resources. But Hira got already 38 farmers. 38 farmers while his opponent 16. But they still corner. And Hira playing defensive like this. He will have to be really careful against players like Mr. Yo, Leary, or even Viper. Need to need to have some more. I don't know. It's uh, it's quite defensive in this situation. Doing well because he's doing a crazy boom. But uh, imagine now if Red was mining stone a little and make a castle on his face. Can be sick. All right, now we switch over to camera production, which I I like for Bogum, but. He's an Ambers man, he does not have the numbers just yet, and Hera is not taking too much damage, just losing a few buildings. Did he get all the upgrades that he needed for the blacksmith? Yeah, yeah, he got, for the most part, only Iron Castle missing. Yeah, plus one, plus two. Those camels are still only plus one. I mean, they are cheap, he's producing a lot, he got a lot more army, but, but he got a lot more army. Stop taking the bar, right? just go and push, push. When you are in this situation, you can't give time to your opponent, Nova. Need to go and oh my god, the Lambrican. Go! Aggressive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, here is going to be on three stables himself once again, and he lost two so far, but Bagam is not doing real damage. He needs to go in and he's gonna try to right now. He's got 12 camels, and here is going to have 10 camels himself, plus four knights. See? Four stables. Four stables now from here. Okay, he's coming with three runs, but those camels are plus one. The camels from here are plus one, plus two. It's true that those arches are helping. The, harp, the arches still only with fletching, which is another problem. He's missing a lot of upgrades. If you are doing this kind of push, definitely you need to make more upgrades. And now, the TC and the camels will do the, will do the job, I believe. See, man, TC, your crossbow. Well, the crosses are on the left-hand side, just exposed to the camels. He cannot do this! Why is this microing, man? He needs the crosses on the back. It's game over, man. He lost everything. It's GG completely. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well, I don't know if unfortunate is the right word. I will say that this <laughs> is so so slow. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 was, that was well played. That was well played. Yeah, I mean... GG, man. He did at the end a second TC, which is make no sense. If you were pushing, you need to keep going with one TC, in my opinion. The double is the triple is stable. I, I I really think it wasn't the, the 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 greatest because he couldn't really do a lot, a lot of farming. And remember that he was getting more numbers, guys, because he was was having crossbows, and the crossbow numbers are obviously not uh, as as effective, you know. Even more if there was no ballistic and no botkin, no Nova. The ballistic, no barking, and also using them under the TC instead of uh, from the back. Well, military. Uh, Hira kill 25% uh, more with less army. 35 army for Belgium, but economy. <sighs> economy different was sick here, except the gold, more for, for Belgium. But he tried one TC push, didn't work. And now we have Hira already leading the, leading the series. And, uh, well, playing defensive. I mean, Hira... Playing defensive is one of the best, if not the best in the world. He's one of the best, so you really need to make a lot, a lot more damage. Let's go for the game number four. Let's see the civilizations that we are going to get. Game number four. Ooh, let's go, amigos. One, two, three, let's go. And the Vikings for Belgian Slavs for Hira. Well, interesting matchup. And... Um, I prefer the Slavs. As simple as that. Vikings and Slavs. What do we get for these civilizations? Starting with Hera. He's playing the blue color. He's going to get... Uh, we saw the Slavs in the previous series. It's going to be faster working farmers. 10% fast working farmers. Cheaper siege as well. Free supplies if I'm not mistaken. And also buildings provide population support too. And Balon's economy is going to be strong too. He gets free wheel barrow. He gets free handcart. But depending on what you go for, you might prefer the Slavs over here. And as you were saying, man, I think we are going to be expecting something very standard from Hera. And standard is dangerous. Because Hera, any any of these players playing standard, like any of the top 10 players playing standard, is, is very hard to stop, man. Yeah. And the map is 
it's very nice and in comparison with all the maps with that wood at the back the other wood on the left that he can also wall till the edge of the map and that is stone and then gold at the back the berries is, is bad uh, it's exposed but but I like his map in this area. Of course, in front, where the Zebras is, uh, where the Zebras are, is, is very open. But he got a lot of a lot of ground here to make all his economy. It's good, man. Well, uh, Bogum, poof, he need to make some huge walls to defend that goal. And he got the civilization that doesn't have the mobility. So, he will have to wall quite a lot. Well, here, if Hira is going aggressive, I think he will have a lot of, a lot of advantage here. Absolutely, man. Mobility is the key word over here as Vikings. If they are not going for um, infantry, they're going to be going for archery, of course. And, well, Slavs will have the mobility. But, man, I, I do recall that game with Vikings going full knights. I don't think something like that is going to work against Hera because you need to get on the lead first and then you need to solidify it by spamming units. I don't think he's going to be able to get on the lead against yeah. Hera when Hera is going to be the one putting the pressure up. Well, we'll, we'll see, man. I mean... It's hard to say because we are watching a lot of games already, uh, a lot of predictions, but every player with almost each different civilization played differently. I mean, just notice it's, it's complicated to see like like the same, you know, and with the Slavs, with the Vikings, uh, let's see what approach they're going to do. I see three villages on wood now for Slavs, so I, I'm hoping to see scouts, and I'm happy to see because it has been a while been a while and there was no scout at all in Arabia. And now, in this map, a lot of scouts. Yeah, pathfinding improvements are definitely um, going to be part of that. By the way, speaking of improvements and speaking of patches, uh, have you confirmed already if the next round is going to be in the new one or if it's going to be in the, in the previous one? Didn't confirm anything. Alright, okay. Didn't have time to, to, to check even the patch, the previous, so also the new one. Well, right, um, right. the if the overlay is not working, uh, I'm not gonna be casting the rest of the tournament without the overlay, without the overlay. And right. the main issue is that with the new patch, the, this beautiful overlay that I have from PKZ is not working. So then we will keep in the old patch. If it's working in the in the new patch, then we will move. Imagine casting all these games without the overlay. It's, it's disaster, man. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> well, I mean. Um, Dude, you yeah, can no, get it, man. I, I get it. I, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could you, you could get it, man. Um, uh, the the oh, other the oh, other yeah, overlay. I will, I will talk to the PKZ about that. Yeah, yeah I will love to. Let's see. Well, yeah, but also you could so get far. you could get the other the other the one the capture age uh, who who cannot oh, get yeah. the capture age is, is me because uh, it's so expensive for me. So disaster, man. Yeah. There's yeah. Small advantages of being a small streamer. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna pay uh, that amount. Anyway, that's another topic that we would, uh, we shouldn't talk here. But it's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barak with uh, the Vikings project value, then uptime for here expected twenty population, and he's not going for the scout. He's going for men at arms, and it makes sense because they got supplies for free. All right. So in the end, what are we going to see on the other side, though? Agatova. Well, yeah, there we go. It's, it's going to be about the same. Yeah, they are, they are doing the same approach. Uh, but much slower. One minute. Okay, two villains more, yeah. But uh, but then, if now here is going aggro, he have, a, he have a window there that he can't really make the damage with the men at arms. Yeah. And I think he will go. Bogans here is going to get aggro, so he's already losing a little bit of HP on the scout, while Hera on the other hand also lost a little bit of HP, 3 HP. It's going to be the same for both players. Are they going to clash in the middle? Well, Hera's got the, the militias coming out already, so they're going to be fighting closer to Bogum's base instead. Okay, he's going now. I mean, he knows exactly where everything is for, for Belgium. And uh, he's doing double attacks in the way he will do the mana tarm. He doesn't have yet the food. He's waiting a little. Oh, he has. He's missing the goal, also, Hira. No goal. Now he hasn't doing the mana tarm. Denying, delaying a little bit. Oh, he's, he's side LTC now, Hira. Interesting. Because he didn't have the food. Now he's doing another villager. And. 
Going to where? To the berries? Go to the berries, maybe? But he's well completely Belgian, so he's ready to rumble. Think he is, man. There we go. Well, if you can, at, at the very least, keep the attention focus over here. It's still going to be good, I think. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, here the wall. Really quick. Yeah, yeah. That was a very, fi a very fast pass he snipe as well. Check is him. he open? Oh, he's open? No, he's not open. Oh my god, man. The Lambert Camp uh, tree over there debated me. And you scare me, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you, you can't scare me after so many hours of streaming, you know? I mean, my energy is, is not at, at the 100%, so please, don't kill me, okay? <laughs> okay, he's going for the all gold right, mines. Go. He's going for the gold mines, and now he's all fully open. The three minute times, he's going to try to kill this, but look how he's going with two... S yeah, man, he's trying to kill the villain now, but he's disturbing him so much. And, oh, that wasn't a good move. Oh, but he take the scout. He's, he pick... He is... Yeah, he choose what he pick, man. And he wanted to kill the scout. Now, that man at times is low HP. Has to be careful. Taking the hill. And we'll try to get two versus two. Well, the other is... Uh, there you go. I like that. Well, at least he took one. That's going to leave... Uh, that's going to leave here on one scout and one man at times. Very low happened? HP. And at times going down right now. So Bogman's going to get the best trade over here overall. No villagers taken so far. So, Bogman's going to have... Good units to work with. Uh, yeah, I like this. The two minotaurs, he should be going forward. The archers as well, he just missing the scout, unfortunately. Well, he is walling completely. Blasmith, it's uh, doing the skirmishers. He does have the fletching yet. The fletching will be important in this situation. For Valison Wood, a lot more at the back. Okay. Interesting. I mean, uh, now pretty close game right now. And they are going to do. Well, I like Moro Hira because he's with the skirmishes. Well, he's coming with the with the archers. So if he deal with those men at arms, he will be fine and will counter completely. Uh, it will require some micro right now. Here has got only one archer to work with, and Bagan's got fletching. But yeah, we know that Hera is going to be the player to micro. So let's see. Okay. Oh, Bagan going for the hill. Yes. I'm gonna take the trade, man. Cannot He's not tracking. Oh, that scout has to be careful. Let's get closer. And those men at times is still really low, really high HP, but now he's trying to micro. Yeah, there you go. He's doing fine. One archer. Look how he's microing. With the archer, he's taking the, the men at arm. And with the skimmers, he's going for the archer and doing a good job. Look at now. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, man. Perfect control, control group there, man. Absolutely. Now, Hera's going to have the moment to himself. What is he going to do with it? Well, he's got Fletchin right now. Yes, he's got one archer only, but he's got no archers coming out at all. He's got two gold miners, but he's not going to be going for any gold units. So, is he going to play defensive and try to rush the castle each? What he's doing in the whole series? Yeah, it's been working very well for him. Yeah. It's not broken. Well, in the camera, he did it different, but, but he went to attack when he saw that his opponent was double archie range. But in the previous one, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, defensive, because this game is what, he, what he's going to kill. He just look at the food he has already, almost 20 villains on food with uh, with the slabs, it will uh, it will increase and increase. And he's doing now the wheelbarrow even. So after the wheelbarrow, he probably can go up. And uh, Belgium, with double archie range and going archers, he can't attack. So now he switched to do skirmishes as well. Yeah, yeah. man, what Hera's been doing, so far in the series, it's good, but it requires a lot of game sense as well. You gotta be very comfortable. There we go. Engagement coming up. It's fine. He wants to just kill the... He's focusing in the archers, you see? Doesn't care about the other. Just focusing the archers. Really good. And the economy from here is on point. Maybe he's not gonna make even a single delirium more. And then go up to Castle. Yeah. No, he's doing one more. Uh, one more. So, requires good game sense in the sense that he's going strictly for what's necessary and he's gonna, not going to be using any extra resources. He just tries to go up as fast as possible. And you, 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 gotta, you need a lot of game sense over there because it's very easy to overreact or overproduce. And if you see Bogon, for instance, he went for a lot of archers. He went for a lot of skirmishes that he's not making use of right now and that delayed his castle age. So, Hera's going to be up so much faster as well. Exactly. 
he, he's, he has a lot of army at home and he's not he's not taking any initiative because Hira got the skirmishes, man. It's just skirmishes. You, you, you should try to, to, to delay the, or deny a little bit his resources and now double his table and his slabs, it will dominate. Of course, he's gonna go cast all this soon, but Hira will have the momentum. And now, what? Hira will make extra TC, so we'll try to go forward and siege. Well, forward is gonna be now difficult because Hira got Zero army right now. Zero. But, yeah, I mean, that Yeah, that will change, of course. And we have all the upgrades coming up as well. Did he get uh, Bloodlines already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, okay. no, no. No, it's Kilbert the number. No. Bloodlines not. I thought that he did, but he doesn't have the bloodlines. All right. But he's right. going forward, man. Look at this. Yeah, he's expected. I mean, and remember, cheaper siege, cheaper siege from slabs as well. But it's dangerous that village because he got no army, so he needs some luck. He's going there in the middle yeah. of the map. Let's zoom out a little bit. 4K beautiful resolution. Hopefully, guys, you are not watching in mobile because that village is gonna be mini villager. And now. <laughs> Nah, but the Dars is just going through through the other path, so he's fine, completely fine. And now, Castle Age, Bloodlines, Chain Bard in armor, and the Siege Wars up on top of that hill. But the goal, Mr. Nova, is exposed. He's very exposed for Hira. Seems he's coming here with the Arches, but the good thing is that he's behind. And uh, he's gonna wait for Castle Age, but by the time that he's gonna have the upgrades, Hira will be in front with Siege. Yeah. yeah, and these are only a few late charges as well. He does not have Crossbow, so Hera should be able to defend behind uh, the walls as well. Either going for a market or even a uh, university if he wants to. No, but to. He, he, he's waiting. He I mean, no, but he's not going to attack yeah. till he's doing the upgrades. But what I mean yeah. is, since he's not going to attack till he's doing the upgrades, then Hira will have... And Siege Wars of the... If he's doing the Mangol and deny that that TC, imagine that can be disaster. It can be a disaster. The timing is gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. It's gonna be very close. Very, very close. Oh, man. Oh, man. Villains, 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 villains going to be down. Let's see. There you go. No, he didn't kill anything. The, but the TC is in the other side. He's not going. And now he's denying. Oh, my God. Such a fortunate 56%. Well, if he was to the south, he could deny completely. Yeah, yeah but well, he's going back right now. He's forcing Bogum back as well, so that is very good for Hera. And a lot of knights coming in very soon as well. If he can get a good amount of knights and chain by the armor, with, which I think he went first thing, right? He's seen already. Yeah. He's seen already with he the can. knights. He's seen already with the knights. He didn't notice that he break oh, through the, uh, on the right side. He's now doing a stable. A stable now? Why a stable now with the Vikings? I don't understand. I will I will even make better a monastery maybe. Or double monastery even if he's did it. But a stable now? When you, the knights from your opponent are plus two? I don't know. He's trying to go in. That's good. That move. But he should be there a long time ago. The Aziz are now going in. He's going to make a TC super quick. And the problem now for Hira is that he has no goal. It's still, 45 villages for Belgium, 40 for Hira, and a lot more army. The Vikings is the way to go, the economy they have. And let's see now. Maybe this table now is gonna work. So I was talking too fast because the knight, now he can deal with the Mangonel, and the Mangonel is going back. So maybe it was a good idea. I really like what Bottom's doing over here when he was going back with the archers. He risked potentially getting surrounded by knights uh, in the open field, so he went back and now he's doing some good damage. Even though Hera's going to have some knights out, he's got enough archers to deal like, against a small amount of knights. Okay, well, the micro still need to be on point because now there's a mangonel coming and the knights are plus two. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh man! La 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 la! Ba -ba -boom! Uh Ba -ba -boom -ba -boom! With all the arches going to the damn hell because he did an amazing ground attack and half of the arches are in the hell. Damn it! What the hell? Do you like what he was doing right now, Nova? <laughs> That's Nova? not fair. <laughs> uh, well, uh, a little bit unfair, I know, but the timing was great. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> Such an ass, this man. Out.
<laughs> oh my god. That, that was a very good attack round. Now, Hera's got the scouts over here, the, the knight's in, but he's not a, a lot of HP. He does not have a lot of HP, so Balan should be able to clean this up, no problem. He's more army man, he's more. Crazy stuff. Well, it's still... Tuvel is ahead Belgium, still with a lot of more army, yeah. because it's cheaper, but need to raid. Why he need to raid? Because I feel that Slav's economy, if he is gonna keep spamming knights... Oh my god. What? Did I miss it? Oh my god! What happened in that in those arches? What I miss it there in the south? Because he was twenty. Did did did, did, did he lost all the arches in the south against with against three four knights? What the hell? He lost all the arches in the south. Completely. Knights. With, with three knights, knights man. Have taken a few more. Oh, maybe maybe the mangonels. He's got two. No, mangos. no, the mangonels were super far. The, the mangonels were super far. There's not a mangonel there. It was uh, at least that they are Mongols, Mongols are super fast. No, 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 but now big problems, big problems. A monastery I'm missing, uh, I insist. Few monks are missing, man, seriously, because he has a lot of army now. A lot of knights with uh, with Mongols. Don't take the battle with those knights, the knights just sent to the Mongols. There we go. Crossos in between both DCs for Bagon as well, going for the gate over there, making it difficult for Hera to just sneak in and start raiding like he did uh, earlier ago. But we have three Mangonels and Hera should be able to take this trade if he finds a way to force it. Okay, he takes the blast bit, he's opening all that, let's say all that path to get that heal with four Mangonel husbandry. Man, how how good is this laughs? I told you, man, I mean... I, the, 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 the siege is so cheap. They have a smooth economy. If you play clean with them, it, it's a very dangerous civilization, Nova. Yeah, man. Well, how to say no to that in the current position? I mean, here is yeah. Mangle is ahead already, so he already offset for the free will power and the hand cut. And I'm really sure if he's got those upgrades already himself, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like he's suffering too much about it. Let's see, let's see, let's see the micro! I need to kill the mangonels! He's trying to use the knights. Well, if he's killing all those mangonels, this can be solid! He took another. Well, he's, he killed four mangonels, huh? He killed four mangonels there, and now only 10 bullets behind, a lot of crossbows. Viking's economy is always on point. Yeah, it was a good trade there. It was a good trade, I will say. I don't know what people think, but that was a nice one. I still missing some monks or even some pikes because. Here are still massive knights, not a lot yet. Hand card, tall watch, okay. Novelistic and no thumbprint for. He's gotta for be Colin. careful though, that's a good amount of knights for here, and he's gonna be sending a few more forward. If he surrounds these crossbows and they go down, that can be the end of the game for Bagum. We have three stables for Hera to produce knights with as well. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna happen now, and the Magnum is coming, yeah man, disaster. The knights are working oh. now, Anova. Look how they are working. And the mangonel, bam! Oh my god. I don't know the Oh, Too slow, GG. Too slow, GG. He said. He said. Yes. Too slow, GG. Well, we didn't say. It. The good thing, the good thing is that we didn't say it. Uh, Nova, he said it himself. Yeah. No, I mean, and here I just with the with the Tom smiley over there. I mean, well, he played good. I mean, he played great. But it's what we were talking. He know what he has to do. But in this kind of situations and games, it's about the speed. It's about the speed, and Hira is one of the fastest players in the world for sure. And congratulations, Hira, doing into the group stage, coming back from the hell. Well, not hell because he lost the first game, but then solid, very solid. Nova won the th uh, three games in a row. Absolutely, man. Well, uh, let's take a look at the achievements. That's going to be the final one of the day. Yeah, well, I mean, except the goal, the food was already, and he was against Vikings, 2,000 more food. 2,000 more food, that was sick. Really, really sick. The well, villagers. fantastic, yeah. man. Uh, amazing. Really, really amazing. Well, this has been, guys, this has been the last game and last season of the day with group C and hopefully you have really, really enjoy amigos.